What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital, and we are back for another Premier League review show. Got the boys in that house. Ozzy Guna Steve is back for business. Your team hasn't played yet, but you're still here, yeah? You're still here. Also, I got. I got commitment, commitment. Oh, that's it, mate. That's it. Also, Rami's back for another video. Uh, boys had a bit of an international break. Our team's. I mean, uh, like like we just said, Steve, your team hasn't played yet, but it's been like two and a half weeks since the last, well, for us, I don't know, for Arsenal, it's been two weeks. For us, it's been about two and a half weeks since the last Champions League game. Um, my Premier League is back. And um, yeah, b- bit of the same for us, Rami, bit of the same. Uh, <laughs> but um, let's get on to our boys. We'll, we'll kick it off with the United game and Leicester City at home. Uh, one or draw. God. Um, do you know what I mean? Like for me, for me, before I get your opinions, um, honestly, for me, it, like I said a couple of weeks ago on your channel, Steve, top four for me was already done. So this result wouldn't wouldn't determine what United are doing or how they're finishing on the ladder. I, I still think even if we won, we're still not making top four. But for me, it was more show up for the fans. You know, show up for the fans after getting knocked out in the Champions League. Um but for they, these guys rocked up, and it was like a, it was a testimonial. Who, who's who's leaving? Who's ten years at the club? Who's um, who are we playing for you? Because the first half it looked it was that slow pace. No one no one was really bothered. I mean, they have a lot. These players have a lot to say when they're on, on international duties, and you know, players. Oh, we're, I'm being booed. Oh, I'm, I'm not like that United. Oh, I want to leave. Or Pogba's come out and said, "Oh, the season's dead." Obviously, he, we all know what um, what he's thinking about the season. There's still Champions League to play for, or there was, but for him it's dead. So we know where his his head's at. His head's out the window. So for him the season it, it, it's already over. So um, and it goes. It just goes to show. Um, all along, it's been the players, the players' mentality. Um, I just, I just. Obviously, we're gonna wake up like we spoke off camera. We're gonna wake up to watch these team regardless. You know, if we're relegation zone, if we're out of top four, whatever. It's. It's just play for the badge. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I'm not someone that says, oh, I wake up at four o'clock in the morning, three o'clock. I'm not that type of person, but you know, I'll do that anyways, even if we're winning. Mm-hmm. But it's like, just show up. Show up for the fans, show up for the team. Show up, like, you, you all rock up here saying that you want to play for this club, but it doesn't look like it. And another, another poor performance. Um, yeah, I don't know where even to get Rami, bro. <sighs> feel free to jump in. I just don't know. <laughs> Same defensive mistakes. How, how is Fred showing up and your, your $90 million players is nowhere to be seen? No, that just baffles me completely. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree, bro, with what you're saying. Um, no passion, no hunger, no intensity. They don't want it. They're just there for the sake of it at this point in time. I don't think anyone's there to really, really, like, play. I think they're just there for the sake of it. Let's give me a paycheck, you know. Uh, I'll do my I'll do my complaining and my, my football, you know, on Instagram and social media, um, as you said exactly. Um, man, it's, it's, it's interesting to say that Fred's been our best player for the last several weeks, <laughs> um, to be quite honest with you. He's playing higher up in the park. He's looking like he's enjoying his football as an eight. If I had to take some kind of positive away from United, um, he's finally free to go forward. He's looking better. Um, we obviously, you know, found with this formation, you know, Bruno played the nine role in this game, which took away from him playing deeper in the park so he can fit Pogba into that 10 role. Although Bruno naturally drops in and gets involved anyway. Um, but it starts at the back, man. The the trouble start at the back. Uh, our captain, you know, which is embarrassing. I don't know if I've had a worse captain. Borcher will say Ashley Young, um, but I don't know. Um, literally, it starts at the back. The rest of the team looking at this guy like he's our captain. We've got to listen to him. Maybe that in itself makes all the players kind of feel like, is this what the club is? Maguire's captain. It's cool, bro. I'm out yeah, of Yeah, but I, I, don't um, think, I don't think a captain, someone wearing an armband, would, would hinder your own performance. No, no, no. Someone else being, just, because I'm, Pogba was offered the captaincy. You didn't want to step up to the plate. You yeah, you, oh, you don't want to step I up to the plate. Look, man, David like, De Gea, the same I'm, thing. I'm, 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 I'm not saying that's the reason why we're playing bad. You know how it is. It's been like this for the last year or so. Yeah, yeah. We're just picking out excuses at the moment because there's literally nothing else to say. You can chop and replay any video or any game that we've analysed and you can play it in here and it look like it's relevant to this game because it's always the same shit. Um, we talk about the same problems. We talk about the same issues, hunger, intensity. No one wants it. 
going forward so slow, playing up from the back so slow. They get the ball in the back, turn out, start again. Left back gets it, turn out, start again. I'm like, when are they going to go forward? When's that play going to come where they're just screaming inside? You know, we saw De Gea again pull off brilliant saves, uh, unbelievable against. I think it was Madison shot, was it that that unbelievable save? I don't know if it was Madison shot. No, Madison was, was, it, was, it, was, it, was it was a Madison was it free Madison kick. No, nah, Madison free kick, and it was a header by. Uh, was it a header? Fofana, yeah, yeah, and, he, and he just flicked Fofana it. or Justin, one, one of them. One I can't remember. Yeah, yeah. So, like, look, man, it's just like, like it, I, I think we, we can go back and speak about, like, we've always spoken about this game. We need to strip the team because no one's hungry, not because they're not good enough, because the players that are in our squad are good enough. It's just that the, 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 it's all that mentality. It's all mentality. You know what I mean? You pick out a benchy from Liverpool and they will play with a lot more hunger than these starting players will that are getting five times the pay they are. So, man, it's it's just – it's what else can we talk about, Borja, man? There's, there's nothing else. Like, it's it's just they don't want it. They, they just don't want it, bro. There's, there's yeah, that's not good enough. Man. That's not good enough. That's not good enough. You see, it's bullshit, the way I see man. it, it's, it, it's a lot of crap. Right? Yeah, yeah. They're yeah, excuses. Absolutely. They're bullshit. Look, United and Arsenal wants the most relative teams, the only relative teams in the fucking Premier League. There was no one but us, right? Now, Arsenal have been through this with lackluster performances, no belief, blah, blah, blah. We've maybe turned a bit of it. We've turned a bit of a corner. Now, I look at some of your players and I'm thinking to myself, guys, just run. Just get on the field and make some run. Is it that much? Is it that hard to at least run? Show some fucking energy. I'm not asking for you guys to fucking turn into Barcelona. But when I watched this game, I thought you guys were in slow-mo. I go, what are you guys waiting for? It's a 90-minute game. It's not 180 minutes. You guys came into the game when it was 15 minutes left in the game. Your boys, oh, we got to win it. What happened to the last 70 minutes, you fucking pricks? And this is, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm not Man United. Fuck Man United. But if you're going to play for a fucking team, okay, and you're not about the team, what about your own fucking pride? What about yourself? You're putting yourself out there, whether you be Rashford, whether you be Sancho fucking snatching at shots, whether you be Maguire. You're not playing for the badge. You're playing for the name on the back. You guys all look a fucking shambles because if you guys get thrown out of Man United tomorrow, not many fucking teams are knocking on your door. Not with performance performances like that for United. It's shambolic. It's it's yeah, a disgrace, right. really. It's not only representing the team. You're representing yourself. So, like, now Precisely. if you want to get signed somewhere else, your price tag is now getting halved. I'll tell you that, my friend. That, that no devotion. N- no devotion to the cause? No devotion to the fucking cause? You're getting paid good money, man. Yeah, but even what you need, you even, need someone to massage your ego so you can play football. Get in there. Thing. Yeah, yeah. E- even that, bro. I, I even think money aside, bro. I, I just think whatever you get paid, you put that aside. But you're not even doing your job right. properly. Like, yeah, wh- whatever it might be, bro. And it's just like it, it's continued on. You know, we blame Dolly or the fans blame Dolly. And you know, it, I remember the fans were saying, "Oh, under Oli, there's no tactics. It's all it's yeah. all freestyle football, and we're here for the vibes." Well, how much are you going to pay now to get that freestyle football and vibes back? Because there's nothing of that at the moment. You got we got in the most vibes. You know, the, 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 we got this. We got Ralph in, who's when, when we when he talks about his philosophy, we all understand his philosophy. But when we go out there to see, he, his players can't put that in. We can see that it, it's it, it's. Probably gone a little bit better in terms of we're creating more chances, but now we're not finishing. Well, mm. you see, you're a striker, you're getting paid that much, you should be finishing. We're, we're conceding less chances, but that one chance that you're, you're, you're letting them have, they're scoring. You know what I'm saying? Well, so, the past that it's you said, you said, you see, Varane was exposed. That was a bad, it was a fucking crap ball that went through. Ian Nacho went one on one with yeah. De Gea. If that was Manchester City, that's a fucking goal. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, Let's be honest here. The ba- you you've said this. Both of you have said this. The basics. Yeah, but that's Fuck what I mean. Me, they, they, the they can't like. So yeah, we're but sitting- you know what, man? Like, like it's it's like you have one centre back partner. You have one, and his partner at the moment is Maguire. Now Maguire, whether or not his football's horrible, where's Eric Bai? He's he's copying all the shit off the camera as well, and everyone's care, replaying bro. videos, and it's it's just it's just bro, like Eric- everything about Maguire right now is just negative, negative, terrible shit, negative. He and needs started. to sit on the bench, but Rami, we were talking ben, about yeah, but Steve, with but Steve, and, pull- and Maguire, sit him down, let him rest. Let him get yeah, his head you know out of the game. I would, pull, I, would, I would start, you know what statement I'd start making if I was the coach and the, and the management staff? I'd start yeah. playing plays from the youth and benching these big plays. 
Yeah, but then again, that doesn't help as well, bro. That doesn't help as well because when everyone's like, play the youth, yeah, I get this, the, the, I get that whole argument. Play these guys because these guys definitely don't 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 deserve it. But when 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 they get fucking slapped up, fucking six nil, seven nil, five nils, what's that gonna do for their career? You probably ruin them right there. The thing is, it's 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 a statement, like you said. In your eyes, the top four's pretty much gone. And you know what? It is. I, I probably would agree with that statement. It, it pretty much is even before this game, but it's like, all right, L- Lingard's on the bench. Like, I'm not sure if he's, I'm pretty sure he's going to leave or whatever, but you've got Lingard on the bench week in, week out. These players haven't shown hunger. Lingard, whenever he's been on, has shown always to be hungry. You know, he's always, he has shown in the past, Steve, compared to every other yeah, player that's been Lingard, playing at the moment. Sorry to cut you off. Get Lingard, me wrong, and Alanga, I'm not saying they're not hungry, but I would be filling this squad with players that do want to play. Like, yeah, but there's not. There's, like, you look. You gotta. You gotta be realistic at the same time. There's not much replacements that you have. The owners you know, or the board. The board. You've got no options. You the have thing no is, options. Yeah. the thing is, at the start of the season, oh, you guys are stacked. Yeah. You guys are stacked up front. You're stacked here. Well, look at it now. Yeah. They. You bring in Ralph to try steady the ship, but you don't back him in the window. But then you got rid of Donny. You got rid of Martial. Obviously, what happened with Greenwood. So you got nothing up front. Mm. They oh, let's keep Cavani, but Cavani now is picking and choosing. Oh, I'm hurt this year, uh, but let's go play for Uruguay. But I'm fucking injured for United. Eric Bailly, yeah, yeah, like yeah. you're saying, Steve, he's he's a walking injury. He's, he's injured. He's always been he's, injured. He's injured. For United, he joined so us injured. He's still injured. Lind- <laughs> you play Lindelof. He's still. He he's, there's well, still but. questions over Lindelof's game. You play Matic, works well, but can't play him every single game. And then we're still here. Why is Fred and McTominay playing? How can th- all these managers keep coming and picking Fred and McTominay. Obviously, they might be doing something in training, and at the same time, you always, you need a balance. There, they're not good enough for the squad, or they're not good enough for the starting lineup. Maybe yeah, you throw them on your on your bench, jump on, help us out when we need you. But that that's all it is. Sancho, this game was rubbish. It was, it was the worst game of seen yeah. Sancho playing years. Yeah, yeah. That, Rashford, was, that was that was horrible. Yeah, Rashford, I don't know where his head's at, because look, if you look at the Bruno takes that shot. Why is Fred beating you to the ball? You're that winger. You're that left left sided fucking forward. Should be running onto he that one. It, but he you kicks back. You kicked back while Fred's fucking bombing up the field, and Fred, that that should have been your Fred goal. Wants it, bro. And, and then we have, that. and, and then we, goal. yeah, and then and we have at the goal. end, at, at the end we have Elanga tac- tackling Rashford for the chance. Yeah. There's there's your fucking communication. There's your chemistry. It's all over the place, bro. This club, it, you know, as much as you people want to say to them, oh, the manager, you got to get in a good manager. If it's not fucking, if it's not sorted out at the top with the people making the decisions, then it's not going anywhere, bro. And uh, we, we've seen the performances and the performances are not going to change. We've got Everton in the next one. I think Everton or Norwich? Everton, then I think Norwich. Then when we go to Liverpool and we get dusted up there at Liverpool, and then we got Chelsea and Arsenal. So Or Arsenal, then Liverpool, one, whatever it might be. And then next year we're going to be playing in fucking Conference League, rocking up the fucking versus Sheriff. You know, teams like that's that. That's the scary thing but about any, that. Let, let's like, move on. But yeah, let, let's move on. Look, they deserve to be there as players. They all do. As fans, look, we're not, we can see and say, oh, we're entitled because we're Man United. Yeah, look, we all, as fans, the commitment we have for the club, we, of course, we want to be in Champions League, but these type of, these players don't want to. But the problem at the same time is half these players that are, that are getting us into Europa League won't be here next season. That's another problem. Pogba's yeah, gone. All be, Cavani's gone. Axed. Possibly Ronaldo. Not that he's been bad. I'm just saying possibly Ronaldo. Rashford wants to leave. All these players want to leave. You, you, you're, you guys are the problem. Why we're in Europa, a conference league, but they're gone. So we're they don't give a shit. Guys to go. Yeah, so they don't care though. <laughs> but they don't care. They got us to this spot, but they're leaving. Anyways, let's let's move on because there was another big fucking game, uh, not big game in terms of head to head, but. Chelsea and and Brentford, big result, crazy wow. result. What's going on oh, wow. here, bro? What What's game. going on here? I thought, bang, Rudiger scores this rocket. Wow, hey. unbelievable goal! That, 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 that's a strikers or a ten roll. That kind Man, of that, goal, bro. Stupid hey, goal. It reminded me of like sledgehammer opposite Inside of the post. opposite angle Fuck. of uh, Ronaldo against Arsenal in the Champions League. That free kick. <laughs> Very Sorry, similar. you guys aren't going to see Champions League for a long time anyway, so you might as well think about how it used we to be. We might as well think about it, but how it used to be. <laughs> fucking <laughs> over. Think, think about the good old days like we do. Don't worry, man. The good old days. <laughs> I might have to start I'll pulling do. out the jerseys and start I, looking I hope, at the badges. I hope you guys win like, your first one, man, hopefully. <laughs> oh, fuck. No, don't worry about it. What happened? Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, but boys. Anyway, yeah, man, watch it. What the hell was this game, man? 
Bro. What on earth happened to Chelsea, bro? This Ericsson, ever since he's come back from life right. for, for club and country, mm. he, he's just he's just on it. And I love to see it, man. I, like, I think everyone would love to see Ericsson do good. I don't think that single football fan wants to see yeah. him do bad at all. Um, but, man, this game was attack, attack, attack from both squads. There was like 38 shots from both teams. Like, in the whole game. That was unbelievable. It was... As a neutral, it was unbelievable yeah, yeah. to watch, man. I, I, yeah, I couldn't believe it, man. Like I saw, it, right, they, got, they got the first, they got the first one, one all, and then Ericsson, bang! It's like they switched off completely, and then out mm. of ideas, and I don't know if it's yeah, too cool. Maybe could have changed that up a little bit. Look, he's, he's putting, he's, he's he, like we're saying about making a statement. Lukaku's been on the bench because maybe he doesn't fit his system, doesn't fit what he the way he you wants to play. You made the changes late though. That as well, and then they conceded <laughs> on top of that <laughs> to make the changes. So yeah, to be exactly, but and it kills yeah. me because you know what? Like when like every fan watched Chelsea score that goal, we're like, all right, here we go, one nil, two nil, yeah, three yeah. nil, four nil, five nil. Well, they've been not, they've been good. Today, they've been good since the whole Abramovich thing and all that. They've been winning games. Like they That's haven't been. Yeah, they the haven't. Owner. Yeah, yeah. They haven't been bad. That's it's like factor. it's it's like they took they they taken all the off field drama. And put it in, turned it into performances. Maybe not so much. They've been playing well, but in terms of results, they, you got to give them credit. But this game, <laughs> well, but you Brentford know what? Man, do it again. It, it, this game, this game was a matter of possession without a purpose. Because um, mm. I don't know if you've seen the stats, but even when watching the game, I think Chelsea had seventy one percent possession, and they lost four one. Seventy one percent. So Brentford with twenty nine percent possession and a third of their passes scored four goals. They scored one. But Brentford looked more convincing in this game. If you watch the game, when every time every time Brentford had the ball, you were like, "Oh shit!" Usually Chelsea's defense is like this season's been phenomenal. Like you'd think, yeah, defensively they've been sound. In this game, you think they were freaking Newcastle because every time Brentford came in with an attack, every time you know it's gonna be it's gonna be pushing on Mendy. Mendy looked Mendy looked a shambles in this game. Their yeah. back line, seriously. It was just all over the joint. And to be honest, Ivan Tony, he had an opportunity early on. You saw that opportunity, yeah, yeah. the first one. He could have chipped Mendy. Even his like assist. That. I think he got an assist for one of the goals. Yeah. And then the guy just Yenal. did. The guy that, yeah. yeah. I, think for, I think it was at Yenal's first goal or second goal second, he got an assist. The chip. Second, second was goal. It the chip? Second. He chipped Mendy. Yeah, from the, the side second goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's another good assist there. So, <laughs> fuck Brentford. He's still playing. How are they letting this guy in the team, bro? <laughs> Every week he's doing a he's, he's controversy. Fuck this club. Nowhere exciting, you know. But still playing. Yeah, but it is exciting now. See, he was making it nowhere <laughs> exciting now. Freaking <laughs> Ivan Tony. He's making it exciting. Look at the fuck it, they just did to he's Chelsea. He's making it exciting, the bastard, huh? That's like, fucking, that was an exciting game. Well done, freaking Ivan and Tony. Man, you know Brentford. what, man? Like, it kills me their depth, man. Like, look, they, they, they take off Kante, Alonso, and Werner. Yeah, right, they're putting on the likes of Kovacic, Lukaku, and Reese James. That's your depth. That's I ridiculous. Know. What a squad, man, to lose 4-1 to bro. that. But look, props to Brentford. You can't take anything away from them. Obviously, um, Chelsea back to the drawing board because I don't know, man. They've, they've dropped off, like you said, Borcher, ever since the Abramovich um, situation. I'm not sure what's going on there. Obviously, the owner being you know in shambles or the owner being whatever, being taken away and all of the above, it's like... It's going to have an effect on the on the yeah. the whole squad, I guess, and to some extent. But we don't know as fans what happens behind the scenes, man. We just don't know. We don't know. Yeah, the Rickett effect. Yeah, it's, it's the Rickett effect, man. They've already started. They've already started the shambles with the has begun. Now, yeah. let me ask you guys a question: Is Chelsea at risk of losing top four if they keep performing like this? I mean, no, no. I mean, obviously, oh, if you look at the ladder; it's nah. pretty tight. Maybe lose Arsenal, the- Tottenham, right behind them. They could lose third. But not fourth. I don't think they'll lose fourth. I yeah. think they have enough quality in the team. I think they could bounce back from this. Yes, they got Champions League against Madrid. Is that next week? I think it, is it this week? Next week. Is it next week? No, it's next week, surely. Or maybe, I don't know. Yeah, possibly. It was, okay. uh, anyways, it was well, they, got, they got them next to focus on as well. But I think they got players like Ziyech stepping it up. He's been poor since he's come to Chelsea, to be honest. But the last couple of months, let's just say, or the start of the year, mm. he's been killing it. He had a great shot as well in this game to 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 make it one cool. nil. Yeah, to make it one nil. That's cool. Um, but I think they got the quality enough to hold, especially the teams that I think they the run that they have. I don't think besides, the, I think they got Arsenal and United in that. Um, but besides that, I know it's Brentford, uh-huh. but they they're winnable. Uh-huh. I think they. I don't think so. I think they played them already, off the top of my okay. head. But I think Chelsea still gets top four, still gets Champions League football. They've got uh, the game in hand as well and all that. That's well. right. They've got a game in hand. But is that a game in hand on, on who? 
on who Arsenal? No, on Arsenal. On Liverpool. Not, not on us. Well, Arsenal have two games in hand or three. We're going to be. We got two. We got. Yeah, I think we. No, we got two. Yeah, but not on Arsenal. Well, not on I mean, Tottenham. I mean, teams like West Ham and Wolves have played thirty-one. You guys have played twenty-eight. So what's, what's Chelsea? Uh, if you want to look, if you, if you want to compare it to the most games played oh, by a team, three. But compared to the rest of the top fourth, yeah, you have two games in the end. Um, what about Chelsea? What's Chelsea? What's how many games? Chelsea, are they? Chelsea, are, they have one game in hand. To who though? They played twenty nine. They played twenty nine. So they have two. If you want to be technical, to 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 Liverpool and City, but one to. No, they have one game in hand to Man City, Liverpool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To who? Not Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arsenal's got two. No, no, one no. game in hand or two games in hand of Chelsea. Two. Yeah, see, there oh, you go. Oh, to Chelsea, one. One, Chelsea, Chelsea one. No, one, one, one we got Crystal Palace. We got Crystal Palace. Correct. Tomorrow morning, okay. five o'clock. Well, yeah, it's gonna. It is gonna be interesting. You never know. I mean, you can't. You, you can never say never when it comes to. Are they? We saw what happened with Leicester the last couple of seasons. You drop off. You mm. could take some sort and, of. And, and 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 you don't know what form Tottenham can pick up out of. Like we just don't know. Obviously, we've seen the result this week. We'll touch base on it quickly. But yeah. you don't know, man. You don't know. I, I mean, I don't see Chelsea losing top four. I do see him losing that third spot to Arsenal. I, I do see that potentially happening. Um, because I feel like Arsenal's in better form at the moment than Chelsea yeah. um, as of late. So, look, Chelsea have their mind on Champions League as well. Yeah. Arsenal have Premier League, Premier League, Premier League to focus on because that's their number one priority right now. Yeah. They want top four. They want Champions League football. So, in- we'll interesting see, to see what happens we'll there. See. But look, we got we got Liverpool and Man City both getting the 2-0 victory. Um, comfortable, yes, in a sense. Boring. Was it? Yeah, Boring. games. Games a bit. The I think I think the city game was a bit in, bit more entertaining than the Liverpool one. Yeah, yeah. Liverpool's game was so bad to watch, man. Yeah. So, but they look. They Liverpool. Liverpool were the first game of the round, so they got the they got the three points, which City went into this game in second spot. So they yeah. had to turn mm-hmm. it up. The, you know, the Bruyne showing up again. Um, Five minutes. Yeah, good goal what, too. What a they could have got more was. though. They, strike. they could have got Sterling, more. Sterling, De Bruyne, Merry Christmas. But the and way he hits it, that, that bounce is not yeah, easy yeah, on, yeah, the, on yeah. the volley across like that. That's not Postage. easy. It's not easy. Postage there. The guy's brilliant. The guy's a magician. But that, man. That's the thing. If if De Bruyne doesn't get that early goal, uh, Burnley make it fucking hard for you. I know they're, I know they're yeah. pretty much going to get <clears> relegated, but Burnley make it hard for you. And that's why how it, that crucial crucial goal it was for the Bruyne to, or whoever to, to get an early goal, especially against these smaller clubs. They're going to be really stubborn. Mm. And it's going to be interesting to see what Arsenal will do tomorrow as well. Because if they if they leave it like leave it long, because we've seen with Liverpool, uh, before Jota scored the goal, they almost had a chance to make a 1-0. And then you never know from there, it, it, you're playing catch up. And yeah. if, I think tomorrow Arsenal yeah. as well, if you guys don't get an early goal, Palace have been so like solid in, in the fence. They could just keep you guys out. You never, you never know. But mm. that's why it was very important for the Bruno to get that early goal in Man City. What What are we saying about this top top two, bro? The, the title race is back on. Hundred percent is back on. But who's gonna clinch? I don't it? know who's winning the league. I can't pick it. Don't ask yes. me who's winning the league, bro. I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Yeah. Like I don't know. I think it's the hard <laughs> one for me, man. I think right now for me it's 50-50. Like right now it's literally 50-50. I can't. They play each other one team week. over the, over the other. They play each other this week. That's the game it's I think that wins the title. That, that that's that's the title winning match. That's it. The worst thing that game is a draw. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> like a yeah, draw. They're gonna... they bring Aguero back. <laughs> For another Aguero moment. Yeah, yeah. But oh. hey, Liverpool. Um, I think Salah's dropped off for Liverpool quite a bit. I think he hasn't scored in eight home games or something like that. He was in, you know, in, in, you, in, in open play, in open play, sorry, for club and country. He hasn't scored in eight games in, for club and country in open play. So that's, um, you know, Salah's technically the best player in the yeah, world, but, they say right now. Yeah, but at the same time, bro, like, it doesn't matter that he's not getting goals no, on doesn't. open play because when he, he's, getting, all right, he's getting the penalties, but he's putting them away. All right, for Egypt, it was a bit different. It was a, it was a disco over there. there was yeah, laser. it was a laser show. Oh, man, Ar- on, Armin bro. Van Buren. Ultra. Armin Van Buren <laughs> rocks oh, up yeah, and it's a laser bro. show. But, um, yeah. yeah, what can you do with that? But... In terms of Salah not scoring, the beauty of that for I'll say for Liverpool fans is you got Jota getting the job done, you got you got Mane getting the job done, you got other players well, around. Fighting for, they're, they're fighting for leading goal scorer this year, man. I, I, and to and be Jota. honest, I don't think I don't I don't think they give a shit who wins it as long as they win the league. Yeah. So nah, they, they'll be happy as long to as they share. Lift the title. Yeah, that, that that's right, exactly right. So I don't think it's a I don't think it's an issue that Salah's not scoring oh, because they're getting the result. Either. I just think, getting the result. How I many just games think in about a row? the words? 
I just think the discussion about is he going to be there next year? They're going to sign the contract, all that kind of stuff could be could be playing a bit of a role on it. But we saw, man, when so. Salah and Mane so. were both playing for playing in the African Cup of Nation, but they won every game every week. They don't need those. They don't need either of them. Yeah, well, and that's, that's right. the beauty of Klopp and the squad as a whole. Like, and yeah. that's just their team. And you know what? The commentator said it in Liverpool game, and I think back to our glory days, Borche when Sir Alex was there, and the commentator said he goes sometimes when you win the title, you have to have this kind of rough game, scruffy games where you just pull yeah. the result. And that's what it is. And that's what champions are. You, you pull the result no matter what. And they pull the yeah. result. When, when, when Jose, when Jose won it with Chelsea, how many in that season, it was like, how many one nil wins? It was one nil dead yeah. games, boring, yeah. boring Chelsea. That everyone was singing, but they got the one nil and they went on to win the league. So at the end of the day, lift the title. like in a couple of years time, you're not really thinking about how, or, they they won the league, but he's played like this, or he's done it this way. No, nah, everyone just sees that they're trophy just, next to your name, bro. Right. They're just telling number twenty. That's what they're telling. That's it. That's the thing. That's, That's what it's about. So yeah. It's going to be an interesting running for for the Premier League title, man. Um, we'll go no on to your to we'll go to your boy Steve, your noisy neighbours, Tottenham, five one against Newcastle. They're they're consistent in win loss, win loss, win loss, win loss. Tottenham, <laughs> yeah. and they've done it again. They they've won. Uh, but five one, were you guys surprised with this with this scoreline? Oh, you never expect Tottenham to win five one. I mean, no. that's me. But it, yes but, uh, and no. But at the start of the season, you're saying yeah, this result's fair because Newcastle were f- horrible. But Newcastle have been it's decent, not. bro. Like they yeah they're, not yeah. But I'm, 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 in terms of the form this season, they're probably up there in the top, maybe top four. If it looks, if you look at points gained in the last. Fucking couple of Man, since January. Yeah. Since January, they, they, they were like fighting deep yeah, relegation. Yeah, relegation. They're yeah. out of relegation. They're, they're well out of there, man. So I agree, this, much, man. Like I, I didn't expect it to top it off from Tottenham. I mean, props to them. Five different goal scorers. Yeah, um, come on. As if we're not sitting here and thinking, Steve, you in the top four in that top four race, you're not thinking. You know what? Newcastle can maybe do do something here. I think we'll all have had yeah, that thought. Yeah, you would because Newcastle that. at the oh. moment. Joe Linton and say Maxim and all these blows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even uh, even defense, Ryan Fraser's def- showing up for some reason. Hey, defensively they're a shambles. Defensive yeah. they're a shambles. If you watch this game, you know how many defensive errors. Oh, it of was, course, this game. Yeah, mate, yeah. Mate, in, in this game, it was like it's like defenders didn't know how to hold a straight line. It was like ring around the rosy, mate. <laughs> like seriously, none of them. None, 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 every goal that went, I'm just looking. I'm going, where the fuck are the defenders? Yeah. Where are you guys at? So, I mean, is that because Tottenham were playing so well that they exposed Newcastle, possibly? It's um, a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both, yeah. I think it is. Is it, is it you know, Newcastle falling on their sword a little bit because, um, I mean, they do have gaps. You know, they, they're not a complete squad <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yet, so. 100%. Yeah, of course. And still, when you beat a team 5-1 in the Premier League, you've got to give credit where credit's due. It's Premier League football. 5-1 is 5-1. Any, any, any <laughs> team versus any team 5-1 <laughs> is a big deal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But I don't know. I'm with Borcher, man. Like, as if you don't like, as an Arsenal fan, you guys are top four with Tottenham. You know, they're behind you just by a bit. And as if you're not thinking, oh, you know, what? Newcastle can do oh, something. Yeah, could do I something. mean, I, I, I would think that, me personally. Like, I don't know. If, if, if they were versing someone, if, if we were in your position and I don't know, someone's right behind us and we're thinking, I don't know, I man. I don't know. Tottenham win, but not this. Yeah. Oh, me too. But I always have that Newcastle can do something because they have the players. Been, yeah, they've been all right. The f- they've been all right in the last couple of games. But, um, Look, another team yeah. that's that's put their maybe maybe for a final push for the top four as well is West Ham and relegation relegation uh, driven uh, Everton, bro. They t- could be done. What on earth, bro? Could be ah. done, bro. Could be done. I know they got last couple of weeks got the Pretty two cards. two games in Three a row. Games. Two games in a row. They Lampard, got the two last game. Lampard last broke minute. his hand, and here he is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but look, West Ham West Ham got the got the victory. But boys, Everton. If we look at their run, right? They, Ram, if you bring it up there, we read it out yeah, last Yeah, I've got time. it here, man. It, it's shocking. It's, it's loss, absolutely- Loss, loss, loss. Win, loss. No, no, no but who, who they got? Who they got? Read out who they got. They got like United. They got like all the big boys. And then Arsenal on, on, on the last day of the season, their, game, their fixtures are horrible, bro. Have you got them up there? Yeah, they've got, they, they've got Burnley, then United, <laughs> uh, then Leicester, then Liverpool, then Chelsea, then Leicester, Brentford, Arsenal. Leicester twice. Yeah. Catch up because I oh, want to catch fuck. up. The question is going to yeah. be now, is Watford going to be shit enough <laughs> to not win their games? It all comes down to who's the, who's going to fall. And I don't know, bro. Everton probably <laughs> might not win a game, bro. 
Everton. Like, who's more shambolic? But, yeah, who's more shambolic? Is a is is a Watford or is it Everton? They need to win the game against Burnley to have any hope because the rest of the fixtures. Uh, I mean, look, they got United. It's, you can probably bank on a point there. I didn't see that. But I mean, um, yeah, but um, it's gonna be hard. I reckon, Watford, I, I, reckon I reckon I back Watford over Everton. I think it, Watford's a who, better. Who do they got? Right now. Rip, yeah. Grab their fixtures if you can. Who do they got? Yeah, for sure. I think. But Everton they got two games in hand. Yeah. I, I think I think Everton got two games in hand on on Watford. Yeah. Or they someone do. is it on they Watford do, or right, Burnley? But, One of them they got. Well, w- w- Watford and Everton. Right. Watford and Everton's game is postponed. So they go, oh, um, they still going to play each other. Yeah, Watford and Everton to be oh. to, time to be to be declared. Yeah, <laughs> then they have. Um, <laughs> okay, so Watford have Everton postponed. That's from yeah. previous weeks. Yeah. They have Leeds, Brentford, Man City, Burnley, Crystal Palace, Leicester, Chelsea. Yeah, see, so that, I actually see, think I Everton think might Everton survive. Everton have harder games. Everton, Everton have mm. harder fixtures. Yeah, but Everton have harder fixtures, but. It doesn't look like Watford are winning any of theirs as well. Nah, but, but, <laughs> you know? but don't forget, guys, isn't this three games in a row that Everton have fucking got themselves a red fucking card? How many players are they going to have yeah. by the time they play fucking Arsenal? Yeah, They're going to go no out one. there with what? <laughs> the kids. Lampard's going to have to put the fucking boots oh, sorry, on, Oh, Lampard. Yeah, Lampard's <laughs> going to get the boots if on. If he does, then they have a chance, man. If they do, they have a chance. <laughs> if he does, they have a chance. But you know what? Um, in saying that, Everton's played two less games than Watford as well. So... Look, I'm backing Watford to get relegated, but I think right now, if, if Watford was to versus Everton, I'm probably backing up Watford to beat Everton. At least they have some sort of players on form. And, we're, and we're saying this last week or the week before, we're like, imagine last day of the season, Everton get relegated, Liverpool win the league. Imagine that for Liverpool fans, a double whammy, United fucking Europa Conference. Hey, how sad would that be if Everton really got relegated? I've never seen yeah, Everton yeah. not in the Premier League. I don't think I have in my lifetime. When you're, when, you? you're run, when you're run by spastics at a club and you, you have no clue on who you're appointing and how you're running the football club, this is what happens, bro. And, you know, we're lucky as United and Arsenal that we have maybe a name where we can maybe attract decent players to keep us afloat. Yeah. If it's not for that, we're, we're in the same position because the ownership's the way it's run. It, it's, it's shambolic. And that's why Liverpool Liverpool play Everton every year, slap them up, don't really, don't really think much of them. They're not really much a rival. Yeah, it's a derby because you guys are neighbours. Well, that's about it, that's what I'm saying. But, um, boys, it is going to be interesting to see what happens at the top of the table and at the bottom. But before we wrap it up, quickly, Steve, tomorrow, um, Arsenal... Arsenal Crystal Palace. Last time it was a big game. You, you picked up the last minute equaliser. Lacazette yeah, getting Lacazette. It at, at the Emirates. What's happening this time around, bro? Because Vieira's got his boys playing. He's done a great job, oh, to be fair. Oh, look, they're, they're doing well. They are. <laughs> um, for me, the most, his, important, <laughs> this guy. the most important thing for me is um, Aaron Ramsdale in goal. I need Aaron Ramsdale in goal so we can start playing out from the back again. You need, yeah, you need them good. highlights, yeah? You need the goalkeeper highlights. Yeah, I, mean, I, I know how much highlights. you love them, you know? I know how much you love them. The, and acro- I want to make the sure acrobatics. The, highlight saves. the acrobatics. If I can, you just catch it, bro. Just he's, catch it. He's, 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 doing, he's, he's taking a little bit out of De Gea's book, you know what I mean? I'm not, surprised if, he, uh, I'm not surprised if he does that. You know that Colombian goalkeeper the, with, with the, yeah. the scorpion <laughs> save against England? Yeah. Oh, the spot, the scorpion kick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's going to be Ramsdale next. Just catch it, bro. But go on. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Yeah, he's go got on. skills, bro. He's got skills, man. What do you want me to do, bro? He's got skills, bro. On the ball, he's got skills. Saving the ball, he's got skills. I need him to start. Um, if Ramsdale doesn't start, it's going to really, it's really going to fucking, it's, it's going to hurt us going forward. Leno in goal, he can't control the ball. And I know what Vieira is going to do. He's going to expose Leno. He's going to have his boys all over him. He's going to have the strikers put pressure on him every single time the ball goes back. And I know Arteta is not going to even try to have Leno Play from play out the back, so that means we're kind of going to be slightly nullified. Yeah, long ball. Along, yeah. Um, so if Ramsdale does start, um, I'm predicting us to beat Crystal Palace three one. If Ramsdale don't start, I'm thinking we're going to be lucky with a one nil. <laughs> How does that make sense, bro? Your keeper, trust me, bro. Trust you're me, scoring bro. more goals trust with me, the man. keeper. I don't know because the the way the way we play the way Arsenal play their football it's completely from out the back. Yeah, yeah. You, and once they goals come the last from out the weeks, back yeah. and the ball has to get hoofed forward in the air in the air Arsenal players aren't yeah. the best in the air. The only Martinelli, good player in the air is Tom Yasu. Yeah, Martinelli and all these guys think, in the I, air. I, I think this is Arsenal's game, man. I think Arsenal win this. Um, it's going to be interesting because Vieira, you know, obviously it's Vieira, Arsenal legend. Um, and we saw that he got whatever moved to the the Hall of Fame for the Premier League and all that stuff. But I think him coming back to Arsenal is going to be interesting. 
Um, but the biggest thing for me is the reason why I think Arsenal is going to win this is A, they're obviously a better team, but B, Arsenal have something to play for. Crystal Palace are staying there no matter what happens. They're, they're not getting yeah. relegated. They're not winning the league. They're not, all right, maybe they can make top eight. Can they not? No, they can't even make top eight. So they're literally playing for nothing. So now it's yeah, just but, playing for pride. But it does, doesn't, that, pride. doesn't that flip it as well in saying that? Doesn't that flip it saying these guys, there's no, there's no pressure where he yeah, they're yeah. about enjoy your football, we're going to enjoy it a bit you know bit, play with a yeah, bit of flair yeah, yeah. while Arsenal are going into this game not in top four they're fifth Spurs Spurs have leaped them it, uh, for the moment so Arsenal's going to be going yeah so you never know it's easy when the points you're are right, banked you're right. it's a, it could go either view. way you're yeah, right. it could be right. could be either way because these guys you're saying yeah they've got nothing to play for which means we're, we're still gonna, we're still going to be in the prem let's see how high we can go but at the same time let's, let's see if we can put on a show they're at home you know the atmosphere at, uh, when you get to play Palace, um, but then again, I, I think I'm with you, Rami. I think Arsenal can can get the win. It might not be might not be the best performance. It might be a tricky one, but they can get it It'll done. It'll be a Villa game. It'll be like Villa. Villa, Villa. Look, Villa. Even yeah. Wolves, Wolves just didn't give up I'm, all the I'm, way to the end. I'm calling a two-one. I'm calling a two-one from Arsenal. I would. I wouldn't be surprised, but I think Arsenal can get it, get it done, though. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think, I think we're gonna I'll, get the three points here. But it's gonna be yeah, hard depending so, on which, yeah. who's in the sticks. The Man, sticks. this is a huge game for you guys. Like, if, if you guys drop points here, let's say you don't, you're gonna get the win. Let's say not even a draw, you lose. Yeah. Now this you only is, have one. Now you only have one game in hand ahead of Tottenham, and you're in the same points. That's where it gets yeah. tricky. Now it's more the pressure. Is, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, they're all gonna play now, each other. Now, now it's gonna make me burn even more that you're not to drop points against the shittest teams. That's what's gonna do. And it'll be interesting as well. You know, like it'll be interesting to see. Um, who's got the bottle out of the teams fighting for that fourth for the fourth place? Because Arsenal, they still got to play Chelsea. They still got to play Spurs and United. Now, you know, whatever it might be, if, what's that four points gap between Arsenal and United? They need to get the victory tomorrow to extend that gap. Um, There's a three three point gap. Is it is it three? Oh yeah, because we got the draw yesterday. Yeah. It was four. Okay, three, and they have two games in hand. So there, there you go, bro. They could be nine points. Maybe by the time we play them in front of us. Yeah. So, yeah. and then to me, by then, I think it's pretty much done. It's done anyways for me personally, but if the players want to want to put on a show to what, to, for the run-in, um, Arsenal need to pick up these points. And they can't, there's no, there's no, there's no time to yeah. drop points here, get a draw here, pick up a last minute winner, equaliser. No, no, you can't bottle it now. Arsenal are in the best position for the top four um, and they need to grab it. Otherwise, it's, a, it's another bad, poor season from them. In my opinion, I think I think from a team's perspective, but on the pitch, um, this is a bunch of players that aren't playing for the, you know, for the name on the back of the shirt, but for the badge, they are playing a lot like a team. So that's why I can see us winning this game. I can see us grinding out a win regardless. Um, yeah, I, 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 at the I, moment, I, I, I think you guys get top four this year, man. Yeah. Uh, it starts with this game. It continues with this game. You guys should get the three points. Um, but yeah, we'll I mean, see we'll how we see go how it there. Goes. I would love to see tomorrow morning Steve on his Instagram say, fuck it, we should have done this and that. And it's a conspiracy. The referees hate us and VAR this, no, VAR that. No, the referees do hate us. Are we aware? <laughs> it's not a conspiracy. It, this is, it was a conspiracy. The Arsenal conspiracy proven. theory. Oh, okay, Steve, it's a, that, yeah, that, we know that. All right. But look, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Arsenal in the best position at the moment to get the um, to get top four. We'll see how that pans out tomorrow morning with Palace. But guys, like always... Thanks for watching. Make sure you go check out Steve on his channel, The Aussie Gunner, for the Arsenal content. You might see my face on there every now and then. Rami at Prime Loans YouTube channel. Subscribe, <laughs> like, share, subscribe on his Instagram. See all the, all the and Facebook there as well. Um, and me, yeah, I'll, I'll put the OnlyFans link at the bottom for you lot because, you know, why not? Why Watch not? It shows you how he cuts videos raw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The football capital <laughs> the videos. Football capital and oh, the editing, shit. the editing behind the <laughs> scenes. Uh, but yeah, look, guys, let us know what you think about some of these games. The relegation battle, top four with Arsenal, um, United. Any hope? Nah. Let us know in the comments. Um, we might have a new manager maybe Europa, soon, but maybe knows, Europa. Maybe if that, you probably prefer nothing. No European football, but. You don't anyways. want that Conference League shit to use, really? No. Azerbaijan. If we're not Champions League, I don't want Europa. I don't want it. <laughs> Azerbaijan. Again, <laughs> you know, CSK Sofia, CSKA Sofia. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but um, off to Belarus for a for a away day. But um, look, yeah, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.